everyone and welcome to the Surface Interval in association with the Two Minute Foundation. When people think of scuba diving, some may think it's for the super fit or for the young or only for the well off. But I'm here to tell you today that that's kind of totally all wrong. It's never too late to explore our amazing oceans, lakes, rivers and even swimming pools. Scuba diving will take you on awesome adventures that not a lot of other sports can offer. So if you think you're too old, you're too unfit or you don't have the money, I'm Sean from Simply Scuba and I'm here to tell you it's never too late to start scuba diving. Yes, no matter your age, you do need to have good health and fitness. Now I said good, not like great, you don't have to be Schwarzenegger I guess. Although the more fit you are, the better you it's going to be, but you know, that goes without saying. So before you look at yourself and you say in your mind you can't do this, go to a specialist, see what they say. There are questionnaires, health checks. As long as you pass these tests, you're fine to go diving. So don't rule yourself out just yet. Heck, even if you are a little bit out of shape, use the fact that you want to scuba dive as an excuse to get fit. So in general, if you're in good shape without any medical conditions that could cause problems underwater, you're good to go. Now, once you leave education, finding new friends kind of sucks. The older you get, the harder it gets. But that's not true when it comes to scuba diving. Whether you've got your ticket on your holiday, at a club, or just in a try dive in a pool, your friendship circle will open up. If you loved your first dive, again, whether that's in a pool or whatever, then you are surrounded by like-minded people. Your group of friends will get bigger and you will have better connection with them because of scuba diving. You'll start planning trips with them, start hanging out with them outside of the water. Heck, one day your main friends may be the ones that you dive with rather than the ones that you hung out in school. The scuba diving community is amazing with tons of inspiration, advice, and just awesome stories. Get used to that, scuba divers love their stories. All sports, all sports or hobbies will take you to cool places, but scuba diving takes it up a notch from isolated islands, places that I certainly cannot pronounce, uh, places that takes hours if not days to reach, to hopping on a boat and within an hour being in the middle of the ocean, ready to explore what's underneath. Scuba diving will get you looking at a map, but not looking at the land, but looking at the sea and what potentially lies there. The places that you will explore for the most part are only for scuba divers, potentially snorkelers and free divers. So it makes the whole experience feel that little bit more special than a general holiday. Yes, this of course could cost you a ton of money, but on the flip side, the new place that you're diving could actually be on your doorstep. You've just never thought about it as a dive location before. Scuba diving is known to help with mental health. It relaxes you, makes you think of the bigger picture, I guess. But when you throw into the fact that you've made a bunch of new friends, you're going places you've never been before, home or abroad, and you're actually planning adventures, your confidence will go through the roof. The drive that scuba diving gives you as an individual is truly amazing, and to surround yourself with like-minded people is just awesome. So you help with problem solving, asking the right people the right questions, or figuring Figuring out what you did wrong yourself, all of this will boost your confidence and it will no doubt start leaking into your non-diving life as well. As long as you've been checked over and signed off by the right people, age really is just a number. Everyone is different. Our bodies react differently to different things. So why is it fair that we paint every 65 year old with the same brush? If you go scuba diving when you're older, just know your limits. Like Mark always says, all the cool stuff to see underwater is a couple of meters down. So maybe stick to that or go guns blazing. Like I said, if you've got a clean bill of health, then go nuts. It's totally up to you. What I'm trying to say is that just because you're 65 say and have just retired it doesn't mean you're too old or too unfit take the right steps and you might be heading in the water sooner than you thought so there we are just some reasons why it's never too late to start scuba diving how old were you when you started scuba diving are there any other reasons that i missed out let us know in the comments below and let's inspire non-divers in technically and i'm including myself into that sort of um 
get into scuba diving? Let us know below. So at this point of the video, I normally ask you to head over to simplyscuba.com, which you should of course definitely do. But this is officially my last video for Simply Scuba. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you to you, the amazing Simply Scuba community. The past six or seven years, however long it's been, I've been working on this channel has been amazing. I'm super proud of the community that I've helped build and to see fellow scuba divers helping each other out in the comments as well is truly amazing. I look forward to seeing the next Simply Scuba chapter as a subscriber. I know amazing things are going to happen and I can't wait to see the team put it all together. Anyway, for the last time, if you enjoyed today's video, why not give it a like, share it with your diving buddies and of course, if you haven't already, you got to smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching everyone and as always, stay classy scuba divers. Mm -hmm.